you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over the top 10 players I think you should be getting in Mutt Day 1. Now, guys, this video, unlike other years, we're going to be able to get some lower overalls in here for Day 1. It's kind of weird. I think what they're trying to do this year is actually make team builders more valuable. Because last year, there was team builders. They were kind of a pain to get, and the cards really weren't too great, so there was never a point of getting them. This year, I think they made the team builders actually better than base leagues to give you an incentive to get them, which is actually super cool. I like that they took that route and they went about doing it that way. So, guys, let's get into this. Before we get into the video, though, so let's make sure to go below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noty bell, boys, come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know who your top 10 players in Mud are for day one of Madden 21 release. Now, Trey Wayne's gonna be coming at number 10 for me, guys. Pretty simple. 90 speed, 79 man, 88 excel. And I'm wondering, is he going to be able to cover well? In the beginning of the year, honestly, if you can get a team of 90 speed players together, you get him with a few other 90 speed guys on the field, no running backs breaking a play on you. That's what's big, because in the first few weeks of Madden, the hardest thing to cover wasn't routes. Everyone's kind of slow. The biggest thing was breakaways, because in the beginning of the year, we had Mark Allen, we had Tyreek Hills. If they got it, if once you got the ball in their hands, there was a decent chance they could take it all the way. Or with Mark Sound, they made one one juke and they were gone. No one can catch him. If you can get a bunch of 90 overall speed, the other team will make them. They'll make mistakes depending on who you're playing. They'll make mistakes. The difference is don't let them get big plays on you. Just if you actually make a guy grind out five to ten plays on you per drive, good good chance they might turn the ball over, especially in the beginning of the year. Last year, Marcus Allen, you could just run it with him and break plays. A guy like Trey Waynes should limit the field a little bit, give you some speed, and still play decent enough corner on the wide receivers we have in the game right now. Next, I have Terrell Edmonds coming at number 9. Strong safety for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I didn't want to put multiple safeties on here, guys, but this guy was just too good to pass up on. 89 speed, 90 jumping, 89 excel, 76 zone, and 90 hit power. Guys, would I leave him at strong safety by himself? Maybe. What I'd like to do is probably run a big nickel scheme, sub him in as one of those package linebackers off the side, and user him. This will be one of the best users in Madden. You had an 89 speed, you have a 90 jumping. 90 just hear that out 90 jumping and a 90 hit power he's going to be able to lay the boom guys if there's a wide receiver running a slant and you do one of those little bait turnarounds and you nail him he's either fumbling or dropping that ball or he'll even force an injury in game over there's no injuries this guy looks crazy good six foot one guys these steam builders look super solid i think he's a great guy to have a safety if you can't get one of the other ones that i do have on this list he's at number eight though didn't have him too high up because again i wish it was a bit faster at like an 81 speed and the thing is that he's not going to hit the threshold for pass rushing unless you have everything right away so until you have everything it's gonna be kind of hard but 79 speed is decent you could power him up of course he's at 81 excel 78 agility 80 strength 85 jumping 87 awareness 87 play rec 86 block shed 88 pursuit and 86 tackle 82 hit power 87 power movement 81 finesse move now power move of course is going to be his thing you power up and chem up you could get it to a 90 but you need a lot more players with chem so it might take a little bit so in terms of putting him in the top five as a pass rusher He's not quite there just yet, but he is one of the best pass rushers in Madden, but I'm really looking at speed right now in terms of who I have up there. Uh, Blockshed's great, though. Going to be one of the best players in the game. Just don't know if he has to be on your team the second you get on there. I'm going to be focusing on those team builders and a few other things first. And, of course, he's going to be super expensive, so that's also the issue with him. But, car's looking super solid as always. Zach Martin, guys. Zach Martin is even ahead of him. I feel like securing that O-line is so important. I feel like if your O-line is not secured, sometimes it's hard to play. Now, yes, the best players may not need an O-line, but how many people are the best players? So for me, a right guard and a good center can really just change the way you play this game. I'm telling you, you get a good right guard and a center inside. If you can inside zone and dive people to death, your passing game just opens up. Because, right, they come out in a big nickel scheme, or they not even, let's say they come out in like a nickel scheme. You have Tyree Kill on the outside. They're going to cover the pass. You run a halfback dive. You have Martin up the middle with like a Brandon Linder and a good right tackle or Rodney Hudson. And then you're just like three yards, five yards, ten yards. Like, all right, we got, we got, we got, we got to soften up. Got to take, take the defense back out, put them in the box. So they put in like, a, they put an eight-man box in there. They run a four-four some. Now Tyreek Hill's gonna kill them. The beauty of having the good old line is that you really don't have to be a great runner or a great passer. If you have a good old line, they're gonna give you time. They'll give you four seconds plus to pass. They'll give you time to run. They'll give you poles. If you just have that. It really places the pressure on the defense. I'm telling you guys, O-line's important. Next, guys, we got Grant Delpit, I believe, coming at number six. Grant Delpit, I might have messed up the numbers, guys. Don't disregard that if that's the case, but I think I'm good. Grant Delpit, rookie safety for the Cleveland Browns, guys. He is a six-foot-three safety, which is 
super, super important because at his height in general. Now, what does he have? 86 speed, 88 excel, 84 agility, 86 jumping, 82 awareness, 80, uh, 82 player. Now him, he has a 79 zone, I mean 79 man and 83 zone. So him, I'd actually leave back there and he has an 88 hit power. So he's gonna be a good safety to leave. He can play the zone. The reason I like him, like there was another guy who was pretty close to him, Xavier Woods, a bit faster. But Delpit has better zone, similar hit power, and a good speed. So he's gonna be able to be left back there. He's gonna play most of the field, have good enough speed, be able to have a zone to actually react. You don't want a whole team of just speed with no reactions, because that could be pretty troublesome as well. And great hit power. I really like this Grand Delpit card. Now, guys, this guy, he's looking pretty good. Jerry Judy is looking pretty solid. He has. 88 speed, 90 excel, 88 agility, 81 jumping, 80 awareness. So he's going to be up there for Tyree kill level speeds, but he also has a 79 catch, 78 catch in traffic, 80 spec catch, 80 short route running, 80, 80 medium route running, and 79 deep route running. Thing is, with the 86 change of direction, 87 juke move, he's really good after the catch. So you pair him up with a you pair him up with a Tyree kill, and Tyree kill can't really run the short and medium as well. He's more of a deep guy. Jerry Judy might just be good enough to run short and medium routes for you while being close enough in speed to Tyree Kill and also being able to do jukes and movements after the ball, which could really help with low low agility and low change of direction uh, def defensemen. You put Jerry Judy out of the slot, you put Tyree Kill as like your wide receiver too, and you line up another catcher on the other side. Could be super fun to play with this Jerry Judy, and he's a rookie. What more fun than trying out the rookies early on in the game? And at number four, Stephon Gilmore, one of the best cornerbacks in the league, maybe the best cornerback in the league. Guys, you can't argue him this year. They gave him the speed, 85 speed, 87 excel, 85 agility, 83 jumping, 88 awareness, 88 play rec, 88 man coverage, 86 zone coverage, 87 press. Guys, now the beauty of Stephon Gilmore, you power him up. You just get one tier of lockdown on him. He has a 90 man coverage, going to be a lockdown man coverage corner. You're going to be able to blitz with him because you can man lock people. You're going to have to press with him because he's got a good press, probably one of the best presses at cornerback. Going to have a higher speed powered up. Not the best, you know, with the ball in his hands, but that's okay. I don't need everyone to be Deion Sanders. Going to be a crazy good lockdown corner. Really looking forward to Gilmore. Probably going to be really expensive, but again, maybe worth the price. Next, guys, we got Christian McCaffrey. Now, here's the reason I have McCaffrey so high. First off, they finally gave him the speed, 85 speed, powered up. We'll get that to an 86. One of the fastest running backs in the game to start the year. Oh, well, elite running backs. 87 Excel, 89 agility. So that's the thing. McCaffrey's going to be really good at acceleration. Really good top end speed, great agility. Power up's gonna have a 90, so we'll see what 90 agility gets you in terms of uh, like abilities and stuff. 83 jumping, 48 trucking, 89 change of direction. So again, 90 change of direction when you power him up. 90 ball carry vision powered up. 86 spin. It can have a 90 juke when you power him up. 90 carry. So here's the thing: the McCaffrey would be higher, but the thing is, I think McCaffrey may be the first eligible jukebox running back or evasive running back or something like that or one uh, grab and go or something. Because look. He's going to hit 90 thresholds for juke and change of direction, which I feel would be like a, uh, a threshold for some kind of ability. So I'm excited to see where that leads. If he gets jukebox, he's automatically the best back in the game to start the year. So that's why I have him up so high. I believe he's going to get some crazy abilities. And this is the year of the skill stick and juke moves and stuff. So who better than McCaffrey for all that stuff? Crazy elusive. Coming to number two, you know he's got to be up there. Tyree Kill is crazy. 90 speed. You can't argue that. Like if you guys played the beta, the Madden 21 beta, you know sure as hell all you have to do is streak, streak him every play. And Mahomes with bazooka activated, you just throw it. The ball be up in the air for like four seconds, and you just be watching it. And Tyreek would just burn. They burn deep safeties, like not even like even when you know when you put a deep safety back to where like you really just can't get burned. Tyreek Hill still outran that safety after a 60 yard run. It was crazy. He's gonna get 90 change of direction when you power him up. Great juke. Pretty much just a juice version of Jerry Judy. Um, very similar in terms of like some of the stuff he can do, but Tyreek Hill's a bit better. And Jerry Judy would be a great slot, of course. But Tyreek Hill is gonna be game changing. They made him much better this year. In reality, every Tyreek Hill every year only had the speed. He had no catching, no route running, no release, no jukes, anything. So he was always just like a one-trick uh, one pony. This year, he's got the speed. He's got better catching than some of the receivers I've seen. Almost one of the best deep route runners in the in the game already. So deep posts and stuff aren't going to feel like, you know, Tyreek Kill bulky posts where, like, he's fast, but they don't look too great. He's going to be he's gonna make people turn their hips. And he's going to make people be confused. And the change of direction, he may even get like a jukebox or a grab and go or something early on. That'd be crazy, guys. And for the final card, A.S. Simmons, guys. Probably the glitchiest player in Madden. I've never seen such a good defensive player drop day one. 90 speed, 90 excel, 87 agility, 90 jumping, 82 player. Guys, I've never seen such a good card day one in Madden. He's a safety, and he's 6'4". 78 mans, 80 zone, 88 hit power, 85 pursuit, 82 tackle. I think he's the best player in Madden. 
best player in Madden, hands down in my opinion. Never seen something like this day one, ever. Now the thing I would do with him though, if you guys want some good, some advice, I don't know if you guys do this, I would put him, I'd run a big nickel defense, I'd sub him in as the, the linebacker like on the right, and you're going to be able to user him. If you're a good user, that is, of course. If you're a good user, or you could just leave him there. Having a guy in the box with this speed and this hit power guy is pretty much going to shut down all the runs. Any outside run, he'll get over the top with his pursuit and his speed. Any any short passes with a 6'3 frame and a 90 jump, he may just jump that pass. Inside run, he's going to be able to stuff right to the box. And if you're a good user, you have so much speed in the box, you're more than likely to be able to play the quick slant, go back up for the over the middle and or the post. And he's got a good height, so you're going to be able to bait people and probably get a lot of picks that they didn't think you'd get. I think this car is going to be absolutely insane. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. That's all I got to say. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys, and join the family. So let's get 100 likes on this video, guys. I'd be super excited if we can keep growing. Keep grinding, guys. And comment down below who your top 10 are, or who your, who's your favorite from this list that I just named. That's what it, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.